good evil smile Laughing at my face Gonna go burn down this place It's been a while since I made new friends But Jesus Christ can't wait till this end Good morning from my little dreamy setup Being quiet cause Natalie's still sleeping But this is like my first vlog at the new apartment, which is very exciting. Reading Green Light this morning, having a little oatmeal and iced coffee, and it's gonna be a good day. Hello, happy vlog, how's it going? Wanted to film another little New York City Diaries video because it's been a minute and it's finally warm here, which has like completely shifted my mood. It warmed up in just the last two days and you could feel it. It was like palpable in the air, just the difference in people's just like mood and tone and everyone was out and it was lovely. But I'm taking this little warm spell while I can and running with it because it's such a game changer. So today's Thursday. I've just been getting work done all day. It's like halfway through the day. And I think I'm gonna go take like a little work break and go to the park with Natalie because it's just so stunning outside. And I wanna take advantage of the warmth because seasonal affective disorder hit hard this year and the winter was rough, but things are looking up. Another thing that is so, so exciting. I've been working on this for seriously months. If you like watched my summer vlogs, you know I've been talking about this forever. I've been working on this course alongside Bright Trip, basically a course all about vlogging, how I film, how I edit, how I basically like kind of grew my following, the way I found my own niche in the internet, talking about gear, just pretty much everything I've learned about vlogging over the years. And I decided to finally make a course about it and it's finally done. It took so long to create and edit and to work through. And Johnny Harris, who's one of the founders of Bright Trip, who for one is an inspiration, he's really cool. And I'm gonna be like him when I grow up. He's not that much older than me, but you know. Still, uh, he basically helped kind of like, you know, show me the process. It was like a really great kind of guide throughout it. And so I'm super excited with how it turned out. Um, if you want to check it out for yourself, I will leave it in the description below. And I would love to hear your thoughts if you do end up taking it. Um, also, here's a little trailer so you can know what to expect. Hi, hello, how's it going? My name is Elena and I'm a full-time YouTuber. By the end of this course, you will learn how to concept, film, edit, and produce a vlog from start to finish. So I have a YouTube channel of half a million subscribers where I create content all about travel, fashion, wellness, home decor, life here in New York City, the whole deal. Vlogs are a primary feature on my channel and I've been making them for many years and it's taken me a lot of trial and error to kind of figure out the best formula to really create a meaningful vlog. I am excited to share with you everything I've learned about telling compelling personal stories through that lifestyle vlog format. Whether you want to grow a really big audience on YouTube and maybe one day even make money off your channel, or if you just have a perspective and a viewpoint you really want to share through vlogs, or if you just want to capture sweet memories to share with friends and family, a vlog is an incredible format that can really cover all those purposes. From epic travel videos all the way to just simple day in my life videos, throughout the years I feel like I've really figured out my favorite way to create a vlog from start to finish that I'm excited to share with you guys. So in this course, I'll be talking all about what a vlog is, how to find your niche and the thing that you really want to highlight, how to tell a meaningful story, how to make your everyday life look interesting for a vlog. I'll be talking about camera gear, how to film. I'll be talking about how to edit it every step of the way and how to really create an entire vlog from start to end. Now that I've updated you guys on the course finding being live, I think I'm gonna go put on some, maybe some short sleeves for the 60 degree weather and uh, go ahead to the park. Here's the fit for ya. Nothing exciting, but I am wearing a tank top, which is pretty crazy. I got this jacket from Thread Up a while ago. It's originally from Wilson Leather, I believe. Then some thrifted trousers, which we love. Da -da -da. Oh, no. 
found Brett. He just delivered us some some lovely pizza. Uh, great day in the park. Yeah, wait. wait. You have to give the review. How was the pizza? The pizza? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. So good. The honey, so we have honey on our pizza here, which is a first for me, absolutely incredible. So I partnered up with one of my favorite pizza shops to help give back to all the restaurants that have been suffering during you know, the current situations. Mm -hmm. So I partnered with them, created my own custom menu, launched La Bamba as this third party entity. Some of you may know it as a ghost kitchen and went out and did some hand deliveries myself and came to yeah. <laughs> give some to my favorite YouTuber. It was good, it passed the Elena. It was so test. good. Listen to Elena, you're never serious. Check it out, exactly, I wouldn't lie. Pizza series here in New York. <laughs> Hello from my new bathroom. Gotta do a little morning skincare routine because when's the last time I've done that? My skin has been a little lackluster these days, a little dry. And I'm excited because this video is sponsored by Pyong Kao Yu, if I'm saying that right. Hopefully it's a Korean brand. I got a set from them back in like November, December, and I've been literally obsessed with them. Like, you can see how I've been like slamming through the moisturizer. I only have like a third of this left because it is delightful. All right, so I'm starting off with the toner. I really like the stuff because I feel like the ingredients are very carefully chosen. They're fragrance free. And the lineup just really helps kind of like revive your skin, bring in like moisture, vitality, which I need. My skin has been very just like dull and dry as of late. It's also nice because like this set is just three steps, which is perfect for me. I've kind of been like paring down my skincare routine the last few months. I'll go through phases and as of late, I'm like, I don't want to do like a 10 step routine. Like just give me my basics and like I'm good to go. Put on a little the moisture serum. If you guys have seen my past videos, I've been to the South Korea twice. And since then, I've literally been so obsessed with Korean skincare. And then last but not least, this moisturizer, which I'm really obsessed with. I've been putting a lot on because it just feels so good on my skin these days. Amazing. So, if you want to check out Pianka Yul for yourself, I'll link everything, of course, in the description below. And now I'm going to make myself some coffee and let's get on with the day. Good morning. Hello. How's it going? Just getting some work done here. Just trying to get this day started. I just have a lot of like random stuff to do today as always. And I'm gonna get the room more situated today because it's looking pretty bare at the moment. I finally like bought a coffee table yesterday and me and Nat are trying to figure out like rugs and things like that to get the place starting to feel a bit more like home. But I do love my desk setup. I sold my last little desk and I bought Maxine's bigger desk, so now I feel like I have an actual like work desk to get stuff done at, which is fun. So let's get working. You know, it tracks a market index and it basically is like a big old basket of a bunch of different stocks. So and do, but a lot of times when it comes to building your finances and your wealth, it's about patience, it's about putting money and just letting it sit over time, which isn't as sexy as like making a bunch of money on one stock. Can you guys give an example on I got this, the citrus flower aperitif wine, and I'm determined to make more fun cocktails in 2021 to make life interesting. This is from Haas. And then I got my Q mixer tonic water, and got some Prosecco, hence the pop. <laughs> Because, oh my voice, I have such a morning voice. 
Um, <clears throat> I booked an F45 715 class. I don't know why. I really could not get up for it. I think I'm like iron deficient or something because I keep getting like eight and a half hours of sleep and then I'm absolutely exhausted the next day. I'm trying to add more iron and veggies into my diet or something like that. I don't know. So I could not get up for that class, which I had to cancel, which I very rarely do, but I was like, could not be done. So I think I'm just gonna go for a little run right now. It is 30 degrees and I don't really know how to dress to run in 30 degrees weather. I think I'm gonna die. I'm gonna put on some gloves, maybe a beanie? I don't know. <laughs> Let's go figure it out. But the sun is out, so I think it'll be lovely. I'm back. Yep, that was rough. <laughs> Hello. Figured I'd do a little book check-in. If you've watched my other vlogs, I think I mentioned that I'm trying to read 50 books this year, hopefully 52, but we shall see. And I made it a lot further along than I expected. I honestly, what I've done is just tried to like cut out an hour or two of screen time and basically replace it with reading time. And it's working quite a bit. Let's see, I start off with Trick Mirror by Gia Tolentino, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, The Henna Artist, Beyond Religion, Ethics for a Whole World, The Vanishing Half, Severance, Throne of Glass, Daisy Joan and the Six, The Underground Railroad, Half a Veil of Sun, When We Believed in Mermaids, Invisible Women, Data Bias, In a World Designed for Men, and I just finished Like Streams to the Ocean, Notes on Ego, Love, and the Things That Make Us Who We Are, and I'm currently reading Green Lights by Matthew McConaughey. So, been reading quite a bit, a lot of really good books in there. I absolutely loved Trick Mirror, I thought it was delightful. Vanishing Half was really good, Underground Railroad and Half of Ayala Sun was very heavy, but I think both are obviously super important messages. So I'm really trying to chug along in that on Notion. I have it all kind of organized out of like books I want to read and I'm really trying to like pull from different areas where like I'll have just guilty pleasure fun fictional books, but then I'll have books that touch on like self-help or historical fiction or you know, philosophy, spirituality, educational, etc. So I can like make sure as I'm reading, I'm like sprinkling in a mix throughout. Cause for one, I think it keeps it interesting if I'm reading from different categories and I am more likely to just learn and grow more. I'm curious if you guys have been reading anything good recently. I can always use some more book recs. So clear this year more now than ever, how much my mood is dictated by the weather when the sun comes out i feel like a new woman um so i cannot wait for the sunshine i just feel like this summer is gonna be so incredible i'm gonna manifest that put that energy out there i feel like most of new york is gonna be vaccinated certainly by the summer or hopefully there'll be a level of herd immunity where things will be super open i've had a lot of friends who already got vaccinated who have like underlying conditions or healthcare workers and so it like tons of people here are already vaccinated which is incredible um so you can kind of feel like a bit of a slight change in the air and i'm just like please let the summer be it it's pretty surreal how long it's been and it's also pretty surreal to think that there might be like an end point in sight like this reality is just been so all-consuming that it's hard to imagine what life once was like. About to head out. I think I'm gonna go work at a coffee shop in Williamsburg, which is a crazy concept now that these are open. Keep Sorry, going. I have a yourself. for you Ready? recently. It's not you, it's me. <laughs> and I'm sorry, I promise I'll be back. Soon. She's coming back. Got a little devotion. Devotion? Cool. She's edgy. She's cool. Caffeinated.